make drama here at Barnet again with Liam Shepard popping up with that late equaliser. I know, it's, uh, we almost had the, the scenes from, from last season and uh, to see the supporters there celebrating with the players, it just shows how much it means to, to me, uh, the, the players uh, and all the staff uh, to come uh, you know, to a way uh, to, to perform against a, a Barnet team with, with a kindy up front uh, who can cause all sorts of problems and uh, you know, it was good to get that draw because it meant a lot as far as the league table's concerned and uh, I think the boys are really pleased, really pleased. It just shows that your side never give up. We don't give up, I said uh, before the game, we're a real hungry and honest group. I think uh, I've tried to get the group to believe in that, that we, we never give up and what you could see is certainly towards the end there we, we threw caution to the wind and uh, went free up front and uh, free at the back and uh, it worked. So. Fair play to the players because they picked it up straight away. Uh, Shepard was getting down one side, Dixon down the other. So now we was really pleased with, with that tonight. What about the quality of the goal? So it was his run through the middle and he kept going and it was a great finish as well. I thought some of the general play leading up to that, players looked controlled, they looked calm in possession, considering you know I thought we was 2-1 down against the runner play. But uh, they, they kept going and uh, it's that never say die attitude and uh, I think it will take them a long way. Some of the players, certainly Bevis Mugabe today, you know, coming up against the Kinde, he's a real big threat in this league and he's top goal scorer. So for him to come out of the game and not score, uh, having said that we were disappointed we conceded two set plays. But overall as a group and as a football club we're really pleased and uh, I know supporters uh, are singing, you know, we're, we're staying up. And, uh, but we actually talked about the game today and I think sometimes when you look at success it's the hardest thing to see and uh, I said to him if they picked up three points today we could have went on a, on a real run and we can still do that and I want the players to believe in that because I want the, the season to finish real strong and I want to play against Accrington on, on Saturday and the supporters get behind us and hopefully that's going to ignite them to try and create a real atmosphere at Hewish Park on Saturday. We spoke about Ben Whitfield on Saturday, he created two goals. Tonight he scored one and created another one. He's, he's in a good vein of form for you, isn't he? I thought he was fantastic. I, you know, the, the, the Leading up to their goal, I thought it was an unbelievable bit of skill from Ben on the edge of the box. We didn't quite get it and they broke down the other end and got the free kick. But some of his general play and the way that he plays, and, and not just him, there was, there was overall great performances. And... Uh, you know, when I look at the team, we're a young team and we're competing against uh, bigger resources and uh, we're the underdogs. I feel, believe it or not, there's a lot of games where I feel like we're the underdogs and uh, some of these young players are taking a huge responsibility, uh, certainly with the expectations of football now. And uh, they're showing that they're giving everything for the football club and uh, that's all you can ask for as a manager. I think you will have enjoyed his goal, chasing a lost cause. It's the sort of goal I, I can think of you scoring in, in your career. You yeah. sure. No, nah, you, you don't, and uh, we was disappointed. It, you know, it was one all because uh, I felt we was in charge of the game, and uh, you know they, they score from a set play, and then the dynamics of the game change, and they, they gain a little bit more confidence. But I have to be pleased, and we just got to make sure we, we prepare right now for the next game and uh, every player gets through the, the next couple of days. And then we go again against Accrington. And I said to him, by the time the game's finished at Accrington, we're down to seven games. And even the attention to detail of having two plans tonight, one was we would have climbed up a place, which was a massive incentive, massive incentive for us as a football club. And uh, I feel the players deserved that. Having said that, we deserve three points overall.